In this video, we're going to take the custom rig that I put together and go through a different process of getting her to move around once again without any custom animations built yet or anything like that. So this is this is for anyone who really doesn't even know what they're doing um, and doesn't have much experience in building custom animations for game characters. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to show you the two plugins that third party plugins that we'll be using in Unity to get things going and to start moving stuff around. And the first one is from Uti, and this is a motion controller. And what this is used for is getting characters moving around. And it's simple, simple, simple to use. And the next one we'll be using is Final IK. And Final IK is a system, it's an IK solver for Unity that, again, is really simple to use and adds a lot of versatility and animation tools to allow you to modify and interact with your animated characters. So we'll be using this as well. Now, I'm only going to scratch the surface on using these. Altogether, they're relatively cheap, and for what they can give you, they're, it's actually incredibly affordable for what you can do with it. Now, there's a setup that you can use for VR. I don't have a VR setup on this machine. So we're, I'm just going to show you the basics of, of what you can do with it, and it might get you excited for some of the potential. So it's just a way to record things so that you can treat a character a little bit more like a puppet and perform things in more of an intuitive way. Our character is already set up in the scene. I've already taken the, the model, the character's model, and done the configuration for the rig. So she's humanoid. I configured her with her bones and everything. So if you, if you don't know how to do that and you haven't seen it, you can check it out in the previous videos. So we're ready to implement a character controller on this girl here so we can start walking her around. So what I'll do is we'll go in here and we'll find the character. So I've made a game scene already. I'll drop her in there. This just gives me a nice scene zero, and this is what we'll be putting our timeline onto. And let's just take this girl character here. This is her right here. And we'll add the character controller, or the motion controller from OT. And it should automatically add an actor controller. Now this is a pretty cool setup. It's pretty simple. It's not the best animation always, but you can pretty easily replace the animation. And it gives you a really nice way to set up a character control. So I just set up an adventure style. I've added jump. You can have climbing and sneaking, and it's really easy to customize. So that's the first big thing. So let's just press play and see, make sure she's working. Oop, she's falling through the floor. So I need to put on a collider for the ground here. So we'll go add component, and we're going to add a mesh collider. Okay, so let's just see if she works. Oh. Hopefully it only applies it to the, yeah, it only applies it to the ground. So there you go. We've already got her walking and moving around with the click of a button. She's not scaling this hill properly. So what I can do here is we go into the character control here and we allow her to scale under the actor controller and we can allow her to climb up ramps, I believe. So let's put the max slope to 65. Whoops. Let's try again. Just want to make sure she can get back up. There you go. So it's pretty easy. This is a nice little setup. So let's do the next thing was we want to get her feet. Let's get her feet tracking to the ground. Now this is going to be a really tricky animation to do in real life. So we're going to add to her some final IK. Let's go IK. And we're going to do a full body IK. And we got to make sure we define this properly. So you can see right here that the elbows are kind of angled down. So if I want to fix that, I'm going to open up the arms here. And we want to grab the this one right here. And we'll just bend it in just a little bit. And we'll do the same thing with the other arm. Now, what that should do is when we go back to her, you should see that those elbows are pointed more in the right direction. We can also do this if you go here, and if we lock this like this, I believe, and then we go back to her arm joints, we can actually see how it's processing. So if her elbows are really meant to be straight out, we kind of have to, have to mess with this a little bit. Let's get it in the right spot. There we go. Cool. Okay, so she's her and making sure her knees are pointed the right way, and yes, they are. So we can unlock that. Go back to her. 
we can start testing this if we want to. So nothing, nothing will seem to be happening initially. But what we can do is if we go into this full body biped IK and we go to the body effector, we can turn it on and let's go into the scene and you can see it's there. See full body IK is actually working. Okay, and I think I should be able to go, let's put this back to zero. We'll go to left arm. I'll turn that on. Now we can select this and pull her around. Now what's exciting about this is we can actually use this to puppeteer this character. All right, so the next we wanna, thing we want to add is let's add some foot, like the use the F full body IK solve to get her feet interacting with the ground properly. If you watch her right now, she'll just uh, float above the ground and she won't adapt her position or anything to compensate for the ground, which is one of the more interesting things we can do with the game engine and get some nice animation. So let's set that up really quickly. So we'll go add component. I'm going to type in grounder. So we'll use grounder full body biped. Okay, and so she's we've got the deer girl already pulled in there. Great. And we can put the layers down to FIK grounder because what I'm going to do is I just want to make sure that my ground layer here, so let's unlock this. So I want to set this to, we'll do it to FIK grounder. Ooh. No, we're not going to do the children because I don't want her reacting to all the, the other objects in the scene. So now what should happen automatically, hopefully, if everything worked okay, is she should start tracking to her ground and we should see her feet being a lot more realistic with how they interact with the ground so you see they've angled down her body position has changed she steps up on things so this is really quite automatic and it looks really good right off the bat so we see we're getting an interesting pose it works very nicely and even though she's walking all over all kinds of strange terrain um, but anyways it's actually still working which is really good. So the next thing that we can do is you can start playing with some of these values and you can also start adding some spine stuff here. So let's go. So let's do, we're going to add some left shoulder and right shoulder. And what this will do, hopefully if it works properly is it should make it so when she's walking up a hill, she will lean into it a little more. So let's see what happens here. We'll get more of a body movement as she comes up. So you see that, how she kind of ducks down a little bit? She compensates for what's actually happening in her body. So this is a really, really, really powerful plugin. So let's just, uh, maybe we'll just add a little more to this. Do something really dramatic. Okay. See how much she leans into that? So it feels a lot more believable. So when I have her climbing up this hill, she will feel a little more realistic in how she's moving. See how she's leaning forward? So that means we'll be able to record this animation and actually use it for the character's movement. So that's great. So you can tweak a lot of these values. You, you'll find you can spend quite a bit of time getting the character just right. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I just wanted to show you the actual process and, and what these, you know, kind of get in, tap into what some of the key benefits of using a game engine are for animation. All right, so I've gone through and tweaked some of these values and she has some interesting movement when she's walking now. So when we get this character to come into the scene, and I need her to walk up the hill. Like this, this is just a prototype right now. But this can have her come up a little more realistically. Now her walk for this is way too fast. I find her the movement is too quick. So we can modify this. But essentially, I will be walking her like this. So instead of trying to control her like that, I will be walking her up this hill. Like this. And having her look around a little bit. So the next thing we'll do is we're going to create a look at controller using Final IK that can then start driving the rest of her body. So that'll be the next thing we do.